Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to show you how to organically set up a five gallon container for your tomato plants, for your pepper plants. I'm also uh, going to show you at the end of the video how to set this up in a uh, raised bed too. So I'll show you how to prepare that organically. This is also a paid placement for Eco Scraps. It's a company that I selected because of one main reason. If you go to the website and you go to uh, ecoscraps.com, the first thing that it says on the website is grow gardens, not landfills. And what they do is they take food waste and they turn it into organic garden products. And I don't think there's anything better you can do than to really take out waste that would go into a landfill and turn it into something that we can use in the garden. And it's a natural product, it's an organic product, and I really um, respect that the company goes to the effort of making a difference. They're not just buying, you know, organic bone meal or buying blood meal, putting it in a package and say, here, use our organic fertilizer. They're really making a difference, I think, on the planet by taking that food waste and turning it into something we can use in our gardens. The product I selected was a fertilizer, tomato, herb, vegetable, plant food, and I'm going to use that in the preparation to set this up. What you want to do is make sure that your container soil, however you want to do it, it has organic matter that you feed it consistent, consistently and you never let it dry out. And the whole key to successful container gardening for your tomatoes and peppers is having enough organic matter in here that it holds water and it never dries out. If your plant uh, container dries out just one time, it's going to damage your plant. So how do I do it? I put in 50% organic matter. That might be peat moss. 50% peat moss, 50% soil from your garden or bag soil from the store, it doesn't matter. If you don't want to use peat moss, you can use something more sustainable. This is cocoa core, it's pressed. You would put two of these into this container, um, put in some warm water and it will swell up and it's almost going to fill the whole container, but just use half. And again, you would put in um, some of your um, garden soil, that's perfectly fine, or you could buy bag soil. The other thing you can use, which hopefully you have, but I know all gardeners don't, is use compost. So if you have compost, 50% compost, 50% garden soil, but you're adding in your organic matter, and I can't stress that enough, to retain water and keep your plant from drying out, because a five gallon container really isn't that much space. Now to set this up organically, using the Eco Scraps fertilizer, you want to put in two tablespoons into the bottom half of the container. And this is what two tablespoons looks like. At the end I'm going to talk about the cost of this product and how much it really costs to feed and take care of one plant in a container. And it's really, really inexpensive. So put in the fertilizer and mix it in. So it's two tablespoons of Eco Scraps fertilizer and just mix it in here. It's a slow release fertilizer. The thing that I like about this product, and it's really important, it's a, it's a good balance, five, four, and six. That's plenty of food to take care of your pepper plant or your tomato plant. And this also has calcium. It's 1% calcium. If you've ever grown tomatoes, you've seen the bottom, and even in peppers, the bottom browns out. That's called blossom end rot. That comes from either a watering problem or a calcium problem. This product includes, you know, your nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, but it also includes calcium. So you're getting everything you need in here to really have a healthy tomato plant or a pepper plant. Once you fill up half of it, you're going to fill the rest of it with more of your container mix. Let's toss that out of here. We don't want those root balls in there. And this is my, actually, container soil from last year. I dump it out into a big tarp. I add in cocoa core or compost, um, peat moss, and I just kind of refresh the whole soil up. So you're going to want two more tablespoons in the top. And that's going to set up your container soil to plant. Now the interesting thing about the company Eco Scraps is it started in 2011. Two college students were at a buffet and just noticed a lot of food being wasted and they started a dorm project to figure out what could you possibly do with the food. So from 2011 through now, their company has processed 75 million pounds of food waste into garden products and for 2016 they believe they're going to process another 75 million pounds. So that food waste is not getting into the landfills. Once you have your container soil set up, you're just going to put a hole in the middle. 
You can see how loose the soil is. It has a great mix of the organic matter. And this is my determinate variety, Siberian. I'm going to pinch off these leaves and I'm going to plant to about this depth. You can want about a third of the tomato plant. It will actually send some roots out along here and it will help with the root development. So just drop it to the depth you want and press it in. And that's how I set up an organic, yeah, an organic, an organic container for my tomato plant. Now for the pepper plant, you would do the same thing, but you don't really bury a third of the stem. You bury a little bit, you know, maybe a half an inch or an inch. Set it in the same way in your tomato and your pepper plant will be set up perfectly well to get started. Now every two months, not every two months, every month, you're going to just add, I'm going to just show you how to do it, two tablespoons right into the top. It's a little more than this plant needs, but it'll be okay. So every month, work it in about two inches and this will feed your plant monthly. So in my area, I'm going to put in two tablespoons in uh, May, June, July, and August, and that will take care of this plant. All right, so this is set up. I'm going to show you how to set up the larger tomato into a raised bed. Setting up a tomato to grow in your raised bed is a little bit different in that you don't have to worry, a little bit different than growing in a container. You don't have to worry so much about water because the water obviously will be down in the earth. The root systems will get there. But to set it up, what I like to do is dig a hole about a third to a half the depth of my tomato. This is a little bit larger than I normally use um, because I've been growing this since January actually. But it's looking healthy so I'm going to give it a chance. But dig the hole so that the tomato drops in about a half to a third. Once you have the hole dug, which is going to look, you know, something like that. So it's going to look smaller, but it'll set up a nice root system. Put in two tablespoons of the Eco Scrap Tomato Herb and Vegetable Fertilizer. And you want to make sure you don't set a plant root system right on top of any kind of fertilizer, organic, um, processed, chemical, whatever. Work it in at least four inches to six inches and just really mix it in well. This will give it a nice planting base for the root system to grow into, you know, and get to the fertilizer. Now, if your soil isn't the best, you could in, you know, again, you could add cocoa core to it. You could add in the peat moss if you want. This is where I like to use my compost, uh, mixed leaves, the soil that I just basically throw into one pile along with organic matter, and I let it do its thing. If you don't have compost, EcoScraps does sell garden soil products, and a bag of their compost really has up to 50 pounds worth of food waste in there. So you're really doing a good thing by buying a product that's not only organic, but it's taking care of a, a problem of our landfills being overused and filled with really materials that we can use in our garden. Once this is set up, I like to dig a little bit of a trench, mound it up a little bit. This is how I would water it in. And then once a month, you would do the same thing. One or two tablespoons of the Eco Scraps fertilizer just around the tomato plant, and you would just work that in to the top couple inches of the garden soil. And this will be taken care of for the whole season. So once a month, I add in one or two tablespoons around the tomato. And again, for my area, it would be May, June, July, and August. And you should have a nice, healthy, strong tomato plant. Now, the one thing I wanted to show you was the cost for containers. So this is the Eco, Eco Scraps, the fertilizer. It's a 546 with calcium. And this is the usage, usage cost that I broke down. This only costs it's four pounds. It was $6.87 at Walmart, and I think it's just a little bit more at Target, but it's inexpensive. So, it takes four tablespoons to set up a five gallon container, that was 1.65 ounces, and then two tablespoons monthly for a container is about 0.8 ounces, or a total of 3.2 ounces. Anyway, the, <laughs> the bottom line is that you're 
taking five ounces of fertilizer from here to take care of one container tomato in a five gallon container for a whole season. And that breaks down to that one bag will take care of 13 five gallon containers. That's really inexpensive and that's about 55 cents per container. That's another reason I like this product is that they're not gouging you and I by saying it's natural and organic. They're giving you a really good product based on recycling food that would otherwise go into a landfill and they're not charging us a whole lot. This is a fair deal and a good product. Hope you liked the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.